Alright, well, I just woke up. Somebody, and I'm not gonna name Mr. Tin Man by name, woke me up at 3-something in the AM because they just couldn't wait to have their answer, their question answered. So, uh, let's have it. What do you got? What is schadenfreude? You rubbing it in my face that you don't have to sleep while I do have to sleep. That's schadenfreude right there. But I suppose I do owe you a proper explanation. So, let's get you back up to your spot and continue our irregularly scheduled broadcast. Schadenfreude is a German word and as such it's one of the very few words I know I am pronouncing correctly. It refers to the happiness one feels in another's misfortune. Some quick etymological notes here. This word, being German, is actually made up of two smaller words. Schaden, meaning damage or harm, and Freude, meaning joy. So while you could literally translate it, if you were going to translate it at all, as harm joy, it would be better to translate it as like malicious joy if you were to again, translate it at all. And this word combining, it's not really all that uncommon for German. You can do it with lots of words in German. Like, they have a word for weight gained from emotional overeating, Kommerspeck, and those words literally mean grief bacon. But back to Schadenfreude. You could say a lot about the psychological side of it, and how it's like a terribly evil thing to feel, or, or whatever. But, as usual, I'm more interested in the wordy etymological side. There is a word in the English language Epicaricacy. It is a really old word, and it comes from some Greek root, I can't remember. And it has a really interesting definition. Epicaricacy. Noun. The pleasure felt at rejoicing in others' misfortune. Now I know you have not heard this word, Mr. Tin Man, and I can pretty safely bet that anybody watching has not heard this word either. It has never been a popular word. It's been in the English language for quite a while, but it just never picked up any momentum. To be clear, Schadenfreude is also an English word. It's, it's a loan word. We, well, Linguistically, we call it borrowing the word, but we're never giving it back. <laughs> we're just lucky we've never met any loan sharks of languages. You said you'd have my word back to me in two weeks. What's the deal? <laughs> but <laughs> but what gives? Why is Schadenfreude so much more popular? Well, I think I can see pretty clearly how it happened. The word entered the popular lexicon in the early 1990s, you know, right around the time of America's Funniest Home Videos. But it got really popular right at around the time YouTube was getting popular. You know, that website you go to to upload that 20 minute clip of your friend biking off of their roof into their swimming pool with the expected results, you know, that place. While epicaricacy was whenever, if it was ever used, it was only used by philosophers, while schadenfreude was used by the general population. And I feel like the fact that it got popular at the particular time that it did speaks quite a bit about the people who speak the language. And uh, well, uh... I hope that answers your question, because I'm going back to bed. It's like 3-something in the a.m.